Welcome back into the kitchen. Does that not look spectacular? And we've got to add a little flair on top. Of course. And even, you know, what's great is if you have live crawfish in for Mardi Gras, put a live crawfish Ooh. right on there, you know, which we will. Yeah, that's fancy. So we found a new crawfish uh, purveyor, which are, you know, it's really hard to get large crawfish this time of year. So for those of you who want to come to the restaurant and wonder why we don't have live crawfish, is because it's they're, they're called field runs right now, and they're tiny. Okay. So I don't like to bring them in. So starting at uh, probably in about a week or two, we'll have the larger ones. I, I enjoy like dishes that have crawfish in it, but I'm not good. How do you eat the crawfish? Yeah. Like, well, and this is something people have a, a hard time with. So basically, yeah. you're going to separate the body from the tail. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it next time. Next time okay. we're on, because it'll be fun to watch Andy. I'm going to have to put a it? bib on you. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. And I'm then going to bib. the whole point. Then you take the body, and you suck the head. That's what. what it you is. eat the. No, <laughs> it's called. I know that's weird. Well, it's okay. I'm, but I'm, all the juices from the inside and all the boil water is inside that cavity of the body. Okay, and so and then, then you just you get it right on out. And you pinch the tail and you pull it that little like it's like a little lobster tail out, and it's really yummy. Well, I love I love crawfish. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite Cajun dishes. I love a crawfish etouffee. Yes. So I I absolutely 100 get it. So hey, Megan was talking about getting a shoe from the Muses uh, during uh, one of one of the parades in New Orleans. I want to bring up a few of these pictures here. <laughs> They're awesome. So this is what she's shooting for. Now we know Megan loves her some New Orleans. Yes. And she loves to go to Nola, especially around this time of year for Mardi Gras. But the idea is so the Muses, from what Megan has told me, is that it's a it's a complete female group. Yep. And they throw those shoes from their parade float. And if you catch one of them, I mean, it, it's Megan, like a big deal. you need to get the unicorn shoe. <laughs> Wait, did you see that? The, it has a giant unicorn oh, shoe. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to be disappointed now if she didn't bring one back. Rory shapizzi has got a new menu that she is working on. Make sure, if you haven't been in a while, to stop by the Drunken Oyster and put it on your things of to do coming up on Fat Tuesday. And don't forget, they're open all the time. So we are, and if you miss that, that's what you want.